What's going on guys? Witty Winnings here and I'm back with yet another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the time I flipped $5 in comic books into about $80 on comic books, which is pretty cool. And that's how it started. I was um, getting driven home by my mom from a friend's house. Me and him are still pretty close today. Really nice dude. And uh, after driving by, we saw a garage sale sign, like you usually do. Well, it's pretty close to our house, so we decided after we picked up my baby brother from our house, we were going to go and uh, drive him to this place because, you know, can't leave him at the house for too long because he was pretty young at the time. And we picked him up, and we drove all the way back to the place. It wasn't too far. Probably like half a mile. No, probably about a mile. I don't think about it. And we could have probably walked, but it was on a pretty busy road. So it was probably smarter to drive. But as we were getting there, we got out because that's what you do when you get there. <laughs> what are you guys going to think? I was going to say, like, I found a million dollars or something. Nah. We just got out of the car. Pretty cool, normal place. We got out, we got out, we walked to the store. We shook hands with the guy, he's pretty nice. And it turned out he was moving to Colorado, so he's just trying to get rid of some of the stuff he had. So, get rid of some of like the um, he had a bunch of LED um signs like Budweiser and everything. And that's actually where I got my dad's LED Budweiser sign, which we later gave him that Christmas. It was actually during the summertime, so we kept it for six months. This sign from him, it was a pretty big sign, and we ended up giving it to him for Christmas, and he was really happy. That's awesome. But while we were there, I saw this comic book in the corner, and it was graded. And I was thinking to myself, I always wanted something graded. If it was a Pokemon card back then, or a football card or something, or even a comic book, I'm like, I want it graded. And something graded. And I walked over there, and I looked at it, and I looked at the price tag. It was $5. It was graded in 8.5. And I've been watching like TCA Gaming and other channels, which had to do with a graded, car graded cards and memorabilia, and I knew... If it was above like a 7, well, I know 10 was the best, and it went all the way down to like a 1 or a 0. And 8.5, considering that the comic was pretty old, was unbelievable, I knew. So I, bought, I ended up buying it, I gave the guy $5 and took it home. And I, I didn't even read the title when I bought it. But when I got it home, I read it, I'm taking it out of its cover right now, like its sleeve. That's why you hear the crinkle. And it was the new Captain Marvel 53rd edition, which is a super, super old old comic book but it's in great condition it's unbelievable it's from 1977 and it's an 8.5 graded which is what like, once again pretty good on grade scale and the other day lost dream when i was thinking about all the different ideas on what i could make a youtube channel i mean the next youtube video about because of the um one about music like my music teacher not music teacher but more about um the uh, concert, the Christmas concert, which was my last video, which didn't do so hot, but I spent a lot of time on it. It was like eight hours work. Go, please go watch that video, guys. Thank you. I was thinking about what my next video could be. You know, I looked over and I saw it, the um, comic book. I'm like, dang, I wonder how much it's worth. So I Google it up on eBay, and there's only one selling. And I think it was selling for $120, no, $130, I believe. But that was a 9.4, which is a lot better than 8.5. It, well, it's not a lot better, but the price range goes up a little bit. So I did some math comparing it and everything. I estimated it to be about $80, this comic book, which is unbelievably good. And, you know, not thinking I might sell, but probably not. It's in great condition. And it is a Captain Marvel thing once again, which is awesome, considering that uh, Captain Marvel is like a new superhero that everybody likes, which is great. And, yeah, that's my story about how I flipped about $5 and about $80 now. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um... If you guys want to keep watching the gameplay, you can. It's all up to you. I don't... Actually, I'm not going to tell you what happens in this game. Maybe we win. Maybe we don't. We definitely do not win. Or do we win? No, no. I thought I was going to tell you, but I did Ha. Huh. Okay. And I'll see you all later. But not later, because I'm still recording this. I don't know what I'm doing. I should probably stop talking now. But will I stop talking now? I don't know, baby.
subscribe!